Hey, what's up guys? My name is Michael from Hustle Sheets and today I want to show you guys a dashboard that I built for a roofing slash solar company. Now the purpose of this video is to show people who are learning how to build Data Studio uh, what is possible and then to show prospective businesses the type of dashboards that can be built for them. Uh, so this dashboard is built inside of Google Data Studio and the data comes from a spreadsheet like this, right? So basically every time this roofing company gets a job, they will put in the data, such as the build date, the cap out date, the client name, the sales agent name that sold the job. Um, this is all fake data, by the way, so some of it might not make sense. The job category, so for example, um, you know, some companies for roofing in particular, the owner's residential commercial service, um, whether the, the customer pays by cash or with insurance, the revenue, any sales commissions um, for any sales reps, um, and all the different types of costs, right? So now that the data is in like this, they want to see it on a dashboard so they can go over it on their meetings and understand how their business is performing. So enter this dashboard here on Data Studio. Um, we have up top a few filters, the date filter. Um, it defaults everything to this year to date. You can look at it um, however you want. Look at it from like this month only. This is based on the build date, by the way, for this particular company. Um, you can reset the filters. So now you're only seeing the past um, the past 30 days or something or this month let's see let's see the last 30 days so now you're only seeing the last 30 days for example right um, you can also drill this down and look at it by daily things like that um, this is by sales rep so you can select a particular sales rep and look at their numbers only um, and then by job category whether it's solar service commercial or residential uh, here we have the five main kpis for this company which was the total revenue the average job size total commissions, the average commission, and then the commission percentage. Here we have a revenue by month and they wanted it broken down by insurance versus cash payments. So this way they can quickly look at this and see, okay, the total for January was 400,000. Um, the breakdown was 400,000 in insurance and then 28,000 in cash and so forth. They can see quickly that this month they had a lot more um, cash payments. Um, this is revenue by month and by year. So they wanted to see their year over year growth. So the blue line is, this is also their company colors, by the way, and you can do it however you want to do it. Um, but the blue line is their data from 2020, tracked on a similar spreadsheet like this. And then this is how they're performing in 2021. So they can see which months where they're doing better and which months where they are doing worse. Um, this is a kind of a leaderboard for their sales agents. They can see um, the, the total revenue for each sales rep, and they can see the breakdown of cash and percentage. So for example, here, um, Seth Moody um, does a lot more in cash, um, et cetera. This is the revenue stream breakdown. They can see it by insurance versus cash, the same thing. And then down here, we have a base on the build month. Um, you can see each agent, the total revenue for each agent, right? Like this, so you can see how each agent is performing over time. Here is a monthly breakdown of the same four KPIs, but just by month, just in a table format. So you can see the exact numbers. And these are the totals for each sales agent. Down here, we kind of have a goals. So I basically built for them a separate spreadsheet where they can enter in the monthly goals by agent and they can see how they're performing. So this goal is, is their totals for all the agents. And then this, this bar is their totals for the revenue. So you can see here that they aren't quite hitting it but you can see they're getting close on some months, right? Um, this is a very cool way of kind of um, motivating your sales team, basically. Um, this is percentage of goal complete completion by agent. So this way they can see each agent, how they're performing by month, right? So this each agent has a different goal depending on variables like how long they've been there, their average volume, things like that, but they set this with their managers. So this dotted line is 100% of their goal and they can see which agents are actually hitting it and going past their goal and which ones are not getting close. So they can evaluate performance this way. Um, this is the same thing as this table, except it shows um, it's focused more on, on the goal. So their actual revenue, the actual goal, the percentage, you can see it broken down. Um, I also have a course where I'm going to teach people how to build certain things like this. So make sure you check out the links in the description below. If you're a prospective client, um, I'll kind of provide my contact information and you can kind of fill out a form and then see if we'd be a good fit to work together. Um, the next thing I want to show to this dashboard is called sales rabbit CRM dashboard. What this does is it pulls data directly from an app that this company uses. 
So a lot of times, a lot of uh, roofing companies or solar companies, they send their sales reps out to go literally knock door to door on certain houses. And then they mark inside of an app that the house has been knocked on, um, whether they're interested or not, whether they're moving forward. Um, there's lots of apps like this. Uh, this one is called Sales Rabbit, uh, but I think the most popular one is Canvas. Um, but either way, what I did was I pulled the data directly from the CRM using their API to put it into a database and then onto a dashboard like this. This way, my client is able to look at and see over this year or this month, whatever date range they want to select, how many doors were knocked, inspections, signed, claims approved, and contracts. This is basically how their funnel works. Um, so here in this particular chart, you can see the total doors knocked. The next step is inspection, sign. You can see the percentage against the previous step and then the percentage against the initial step, which is the doors knocked. So they can see that 2.34% of... Um, of you know whatever was signed becomes a claim approved and then maybe five percent of all doors knocked become signed things like that um, down here we have the door like a kind of a leaderboard to show you the doors knocked by sales rep this is every other step by sales rep as well so they can see um, how each rep is doing for each particular step of the funnel um, down here is a weekly breakdown so they have weekly meetings to kind of just check when with their sales team to see how many doors have been knocked, inspections, things like that. So this way they can kind of track their progress each week. And then um, here we have a breakdown based on sales rep, the number of doors knocked, inspections for each individual sales rep. Um, and then this one is by sales rep and by week. So they can see how each sales rep is performing. Um, we also kind of have this compared to year over year. And then you can, you can also set goals for each thing as well. Um, but overall, this is just to kind of show you guys the type of dashboards that can be built for businesses like this. A lot of times construction companies, roofing companies, um, solar companies, they don't really have a way to track how their sales teams are doing. And this can be applied to any type of business that has like a team of salespeople, right? And they want to be able to set goals and they want to be able to track each step of the funnel, um, have like weekly progress updates, things like this. So if you guys are interested in this, um, just subscribe to my channel and I'm going to kind of keep on putting out videos like this. I'll have also a course on how to build kind of like a simple dashboard like this. And then if you want something like this built for your business, I'm going to have a link to kind of fill out like an application form and see if we're a good fit together, um, things like that. But besides that, let me know if you guys have any questions or any other type of videos you want to see. Thanks a lot, guys.